someone leaves the 12 tribes, everyone is told they're not allowed to speak to them, to associate with them. It's a method of shunning. I am the one who chose to turn my back on God. Therefore, I am to be rejected. He was eight the last time I saw him. He's 21 now. Oh my gosh. Let's see, my oldest sister, Shalem, you probably remember her. Yeah. My older sister has been a little bit more receptive to seeing me, which is great since no one else in my family really is. Considering what we've been through in terms of our, our relationship with each other over the years, we have as good of a relationship as we possibly can. She's always treated me as much as she could as a sister. She tries as best as she can to not completely forget about me. She's the only one in my family who does that. In the 12 tribes, that's rare. It's really rare. So everyone in my family, except for my older brother, everyone's still there. Such a shame. And that's something that's really hard for me to digest, you know? Yeah. I still have hung on to this hope to, for the last 13 years almost that one day I'll get a call from my siblings and they'll say, I need your help. I want to get out. And that's what keeps me going. Chattanooga is where it all started. Yeah, it's such a significant place, you know, just always growing up and hearing about the original Chattanooga the community. The history there. And yeah, just the history. I can't change that the 12 tribes exist. I can't change what they've done to my family. But I want to see what's going on in the 12 tribes today. I want to understand what my family is going through. Well, you know, since, since I've been gone, what, what's changed? What's the, what's the feeling like going there and seeing people? And, mm -hmm. you know, I don't interact with them at all now. Mm -hmm. So seeing like what's going on there today, yeah, it's going to be an interesting experience. Ed Wiseman, generally considered the group's second in command to founder and apostle Eugene Albert Spriggs. Jesus Christ himself established that, and he gave authority to the church to be that lie. The word is clear that you have to obey what you believe and, and surrender your life to obedience to the word of God. Eddie Wiseman, tell me about him. He's an original when it comes an to- An original member. An original member, they, they call them the nucleus. It's like a group of the original members mm -hmm. um, who have throughout you know the history of the group filled leadership roles. He worked very closely with you know, Spriggs as, as you know, right hand man kind of thing. Um, Someone to fear? Someone to fear, absolutely. Um, someone who could enforce the rules. So this is it, huh? Yep. This is university housing, probably? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's all the university all around it. The Yellow Deli restaurants are used as a tool to recruit people. The location of the Chattanooga Yellow Deli is on the campus for the University of Tennessee, where there are young, receptive youth and, and young adults that are open to different ideas, and they're searching for answers. You know, a lot of them are looking for certain fulfillments, and it is put there as a place to recruit. There's no question about that. Ugh. <laughs> we made it. Yep. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Thanks for coming. I'm Roger Arnold. I am a former member of the 12 tribes. The appeal of the 12 tribes was they offered the opportunity to live 24-7, 365 in Christian community. And yet at the same time, there was a lot of darkness that was underneath. The constant requirements of submission and obedience, and it's a very patriarchal. Um, hierarchical system that gave a lot of 
emphasis on authority and the use of authority. A lot of elders took that as a total license to become tyrants. And that shift began to see people leaving the community. So is this your first time too? Yeah. All right. <laughs> first for both of us. Yeah. OMG. Yeah. Three. Three, please. You know, people see this, these nice people who are very hospitable and they have great food and, and they, you know, welcome people into their restaurant. But what they don't see is what happens behind closed doors. Hey, how's it going? I was just wondering what the deal was at senior alarm. I just want to let you know, I agree to see here, and I've heard some negative stuff about these guys, but these guys are really cool. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. They, they love you. They're kind to you. They treat you like human beings, as other people don't. Are you a, a member of their the organization? Do you work here? Been thinking about it? I don't know yet. I'm just kind of new and freshman. Who the 12 tribes cafes are like, you know, the Venus flytrap where people are sucked in. Thanks. ask you a random question. I think at some point in my life I lived with you. Your name was yeah, Susan, know. right? Yeah. Yes. Do you remember me at all? What's your name? It used to be Batak, Brasa, Koshua, oh and Rose goodness. daughter. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Wanted to say hello. It was a long time ago. Yeah, it's been a long time. But it's nice to see your face again. You too. I, f I feel bad. I, I really like there's there's a sort of pity that I have. The, the main guy in charge. Hi, how's it going? The yeah, I'm the main guy, yeah. How are you? My name is Alex. Who are you? Alex? Yeah. I'm a member of the 12 tribes. I just want to know what you're doing because you're... We're doing a documentary about various different faiths and uh, movements and organizations and stuff like that. What's happening? Who is that? But I'd love to set up an interview with you if you'd like. No, I wouldn't. I've talked to the press many times and usually regret it. What's your name? Which Eddie Wise. Eddie Wiseman. Eddie Wiseman. The Eddie Wiseman? He's here? He's sitting right there talking to Alex. Oh. He's the number two person. Eddie, would you like to set up an interview? Of course not. The story that we have to tell is on our website. Correct me if I'm wrong. Do you believe in corporal punishment of children? Corporal discipline, yeah. Corporal discipline. To the point of severe bruising? No. Reasonable. No. To the point. To the point of severe. Reasonable. Bruising, no. To the point of severe bruising. No. Are you aware of, of, of stuff like that happening though? Not in recent times. Okay. Every religion they remembers who do criminal things. Sure. We stand by everything we said. Can I? Oh, sorry. Do you think they knew that? So, oh, I don't think they. I don't think you. they caught on that I was there. I haven't seen them in. But we. Decade. But we told them in the right cafe. I told one person who I was. News travels fast in the community, so it, she could have said, "Oh, well, it was so and so." Yeah. You know. And somebody watched us enough to know how far down the road we went that they knew to come into that parking lot. Right. I just hate that it always feels like it has to be a confrontation. Like, right. Why can't it be a why conversation? Why can't it just be a discussion? Seeing Eddie Wiseman and his wife, Jean Swanko, in the parking lot, it's a scary thing. You know, it was a brief encounter, but when they find out what I'm doing, they will shut down contact with my family. That's how they protect themselves, is they lash out at people who come against them.
What were you thinking when you tangled with Eddie Wiseman?